I am Stormwind Studios instructor and Cybex author William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a Hyper-V virtual machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Hyper-V manager. Now on this system, I have a shortcut set up on the taskbar for the Hyper-V manager. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and I'm going to click on the Hyper-V manager. If you don't have a shortcut for Hyper-V, just go ahead and click on the start button, find Hyper-V in the menu, and just click on Hyper-V manager. Now when the Hyper-V manager comes up, what we're going to do is we're going to build a brand new virtual machine. Now before you can build a virtual machine, there are a few things you have to make sure that you have set up. One of those things is you have to make sure that you have your virtual switch manager set up. The virtual switch manager is what you set up so that Hyper-V can work with your network adapters, okay, your NIC adapters. So here on this server, I have two Ethernet adapters, and I have each one set up to be its own virtual switch. So when I build a virtual machine and it asks me how I want to communicate with the network, I can tell it which virtual switch to use. So since we have that set up and ready to go, all I need to do is click on the new under the action section. So I'll click on new and I'm going to choose virtual machine. At that point, the virtual machine wizard's going to appear. So we're just going to walk through the virtual machine wizard. So at the before you begin screen, I'm just going to go ahead and click next. And it's going to ask you, what's the name of this virtual machine? So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to set it up as a Windows Server 2016 domain controller. And you can go ahead and name it anything you want. You can name it the name of the machine. You can say what the role is going to be. This is just so that you know what virtual machine is running inside Hyper-V. This is not going to be the name of the server. This is just the name of the VM. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the little box that says store this virtual machine in a different location. Now I store all of my virtual machines on my E drive because my E drive has more than enough space. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to actually say that this is the Win Server DC. Now if you notice I already have one that it's set up as my DC, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to make sure I let myself know that it's going to be 2016 that I'm doing. At that point, I'm going to double click the folder, say select that folder, and now this virtual machine is going to be stored in that location. So if I need to move it, back it up, do anything to it, I know exactly where I need to do this. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Then it's going to ask me if this is a virtual machine for generation one, or generation two. Generation one virtual machines are virtual machines from 2008. In 2012, generation two was created. Generation two gives you all kinds of additional benefits like secure boot. It also gives you the ability to use a UEFI based BIOS. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose generation two and I'm gonna say next. Then it's going to ask me how much memory am I going to put on this machine? How much RAM? I'm going to go ahead and set it up for 16 gigabytes. So this virtual machine is going to have 16 gigabytes. There is 64 gigabytes on the server. So I'm just going to assign 16 gigabytes to this virtual machine. Now you have the ability to set using dynamic RAM. What dynamic memory is, is it's only going to use the amount of RAM that's needed for that virtual machine at the time it's running. Be very careful when you choose this. If you choose this before you load the operating system, what may happen is during the installation, because there's no operating system on the server, on the virtual machine, it could possibly use such a small amount of RAM just to make that system run that when you go to install the server operating system, it may tell you that you don't have enough RAM on the server to make this operating system run. So you can always go back and change this setting after you install the operating system. And that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tell it to 
use the entire 16 gigs. Here's where it's going to ask you, how do you want this virtual machine to communicate with the network? So at this point, I'm just going to choose one of my switches. Now it's going to ask me, how do I want to install this operating system? What type of hard drive am I going to set up? Do I have an existing hard drive for this VM or do I have to build a brand new hard drive? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say create a new hard drive. And I want to make sure that the hard drive is getting stored in the same location as the VM. And as you notice, it is. So I'm good to go. Then it's going to ask me what the size is. Now, I'm not going to build an operating system on this. I'm just showing this in the video. So I'm only going to say that I want it to use 40 gigs for now. As soon as this video is over, I'm going to remove this and wipe it out. So I'm just going to choose 40. But you would want to set enough hard drive space so that this virtual machine running Windows Server 2016 can run properly. I would say you want if you have the ability, at least one terabyte. I'm just gonna set it to 40 gigs just for the demo, but make sure you set this properly for whatever you need it. I'm gonna go ahead and say next. Then it's gonna ask you how you wanna install the operating system. I have a Windows Server 2016 boot image file that has the installation files. So I'm gonna choose install the operating system from a bootable image file. This was a file I downloaded from Microsoft. So all you have to do is you have to just make sure that you choose the installation files. I'm going to say open, and then I'm just going to say next. At this point, it's going to give me the summary screen. When the summary screen appears, you just want to verify that everything is proper, and then you're going to go ahead and just say finished. It's going to go ahead and build that virtual machine. Now, when you want the operating system to install, what you would do is you would start the virtual machine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start this virtual machine. Now when I go to start it, I gotta click on the actual virtual machine. You'll see down here this little tiny box. It's gonna show you what's happening. So watch, you gotta do be quick about that because when this virtual machine first kicks off, it's gonna ask you to hit any key to start the installation of Windows Server. So I'm gonna click on it, I'm gonna hit start, Real fast, I'm going to double click this, and as soon as it says press any key, I'm going to go ahead and hit a key, and that's going to kick off my installation of Windows Server 2016. And at this point, you're just going to do a normal Windows Server installation. And it's as simple as that to set up a Hyper-V virtual machine. In this video, I showed you how to set up a Hyper-V virtual machine on a 2016 server. I am Stormwind Studios instructor and Cybex author William Panic. Thanks for watching the video.